Oklahoma City Energy came home after a two game road trip where they had dropped two in a row to take on a Colorado Springs team that was in first place in the USL West. Oklahoma City trying to get back into first place after dropping those games. They fell out of the top spot. Oklahoma City wanted to come out with a lot of energy, establish the pace and take charge. They did just that early on. Great crowd on hand tonight. The largest crowd in energy history, 6847 huge attendance. Danny Kudig looking to get back into the goal column early on, and that's exactly what he did. Second minute after a holding penalty results in a PK. Danny sends it home. 21st goal of the year, 1-0 Oklahoma City. In the 14th minute, never say die. Not Atlanta Braves, Casey Townsend. All oh, heart. 2-0 Oklahoma City. I got a few lucky bounces. This is a good ball by Gaz. <clears throat> um, got a couple fortunate bounces and lucky enough to put it away. In the 36th minute, Colorado Springs comes back. It's Charles Ulao makes it 2-1 at the half, Oklahoma City. Second half, Colorado Springs comes out strong. Chandler Hoffman sends it home. 2-2, a tie ball game. In the 79th minute, Sebastian Dalgar dialing up long distance. Whew, holy cow, makes it 3-2, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City just trying to run out the clock, thinks they've got it in the bag, but in the 90th minute, push holding, still not for sure, results in a PK for Chandler Hoffman, ties the game at three. That's how it finished. Oklahoma City receives one point for the tie. Right now, they are not in first place in the USL West. Overall, uh, fantastic uh, performance, but again, you're standing here with a feeling sick in my stomach over that performance by the referee. Uh, you know, the guys are working so hard day in and day out that I feel terrible for the guys in the locker room right now. They, they shouldn't be sitting in there with that feeling right now. This year definitely should have been three points, but that got taken away from us. I don't even have words right now. I know it's, um, yeah, the most important uh, match of the, of the year. And they get a silly pe penalty in the, the last minutes. Like, that's, that's hard, man. That's hard. Yeah, you can't ever lose hope. Obviously, we have a lot of confidence in this team, and like I said, I feel like we should have won tonight. So we just got to honestly keep that momentum going uh, into our next game against Arizona and then into the playoffs. If we play like that, um, we'll be a tough team to beat, so we just got to keep it going. So the final regular season home game of the year for Oklahoma City results in the tie. Right now, things are really up in the air when it comes to where the playoff seating will fall. Oklahoma City is in the playoffs. They just don't know if they're going to play in the first weekend or if they're going to get a bye. They go on the road next. Arizona on Wednesday. A win there would go a long way toward making sure they get at least a home game when it comes to the playoffs. We'll keep you up to speed with all the energy news. You can, of course, go to energyfc.com for more information. Also, give us a call 235-KICK for maybe season tickets next year. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts, they're all open and ready to rock for everyone here at the largest crowd in Oklahoma City energy history. Almost 7,000 fans. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.